think over the next few years, we're going to um, see that PCNL is going to be miniaturized more. And I think that miniaturization of the instruments which we use, such as uh, Trilogy, will also help with that. The ideal device is going to be something which is um, efficient at breaking hard stones, efficient at sucking out ever larger stone fragments, is reproducible from case to case, Trilogy I have uh, only used on a couple of cases. Uh, they were extremely hard stones that we treated. And um, despite that, it performed extremely well, broke up the stones effectively, and then also removed the pieces efficiently. The Trilogy device, which is uh, now an all-in-one all device, uh, I think ergonomically is easier to handle and more comfortable. I think also um, from the efficiency point of view, um, efficient at fragmenting stones, even really hard stones, uh, because you've also got the ballistic energy that comes through together with the ultrasound. It's extremely effective at punching um, into a hard stone um, and then fragmenting it and then sucking out the small fragments. I think for me though, what it also offers is the option to use a very effective and efficient device uh, as we go through miniaturization because there are a range of probes all the way down to probes which can be used ureteroscopically, which means that we'll be able to use the Trilogy across a whole range of percutaneous procedures, including standard PCNL, mini PCNL, ultra mini PCNL, and then also in uh, ureteroscopic cases as well. I think it would be absolutely applicable for large bladder stones, and that would also be an interesting additional usage for it. I think if you can shorten your stone fragmentation and evacuation time, you may then feel able to then take the patient and do a combined flexible nephroscopy or flexible ureteroscopy to tidy up any bits which are there. So I think that stone free rates may well improve. I think the biggest effect um, of having a device which is more efficient at fragmenting stone is going to be to reduce OR time. It's good for the patient because reducing anaesthetic time is helpful. It's good for the patient uh, because then it will hopefully um, decrease some of the complications which they may suffer from a prolonged operation, such as um, bleeding, uh, such as infection post-operatively. It's also very good from the hospital's point of view because if you uh, reduce your operative time by half an hour or 45 minutes, because that can be the longest part of a PCNL is a stone fragmentation and extraction, uh, then effectively you can do another case on your operating list, which is going to bring in more income for the hospital and will help to reduce operating lists. Uh, and certainly if you look at the bench studies where the trilogy looks to be extremely effective, um, my hope would be that that would translate into clinical practice. Clearly we need to do studies in patients to see if that's going to be the case. You know, being one of the first people to use that kind of device um, anywhere in the world is, um, yeah, is uh, I guess humbling, but exciting as well.